Hi, guys. It is a lovely fall night here in the end times in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is a Friday night, October 21st, 2022. So, uh, somehow I am going to make this a noble savage rant. I am a, you know, people, I think, misunderstand my, uh, my, shall we call it sarcasm? Imagine Hambone being sarcastic, uh, you know, uh, talking about the noble savages all the time. But uh, it, it sounds like that I am against noble savages. I am against humans. Noble savages are humans. But there is one aspect of the noble savage that uh, I, I do heartily support. Uh, and, and I want to thank uh, my buddy Birdman for uh, giving me this education a, a couple of years ago. Uh, so Birdman suffers from the myth of the noble savage worse than any human being I have ever met. Okay, the guy is a hopeless sufferer of the myth of the noble savage, but at the same time, unlike most people, uh, I believe, uh, I, I would, as a general rule, people who suffer from the myth of the noble savage, generally speaking, are limp dick lefties. I, I hope that's not too much of an overgeneralization. I assure you, Birdman, the last thing he is, is a limp dick lefty. He is a lefty, but he is not a limp dick lefty. Uh, so we have a non-limp dick, old school, uh, hard on lefty. Uh, so what, we got into the discussion where he was talking about we got into the whole discussion of capital punishment and being tough on crime and, and, and all of this, and he went off on this rant. I would like to bring him in on a guest rant talking about how the noble savages put up with these fuckers. Uh, they don't tolerate it, okay? They don't fucking tolerate it with this shit, so I... I couldn't help thinking of Birdman. Uh, you know, first I was watching some documentary about those Turpin kids, if you remember that, and and then a uh, bunch of stories uh, yesterday. You've probably uh, read some of these. Twins suffered horrific abuse including having to drink their own urine before escaping Texas home, neighbors say. Uh, Texas twin teens who es whose escape was captured on doorbell camera footage while they pleaded with neighbors for help allegedly were handcuffed inside a laundry room and forced to drink their own urine and stuff. And you should see a picture uh, uh, of this clueless fucking bitch. Uh, you, you know, the mother of these people. And, uh, but I wanted, so there was that one getting all kinds of press. And then this one, I'm just going to read this story. And, 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 and as I was reading this, I was thinking of Birdman and, you know, thinking what, how Birdman would have responded to this story, how the noble savages, what exactly would the noble savages uh, do with this motherfucker? Okay, from the Daily Beast. Emaciated girl was zip-tied inside Portland House of Horrors cops say. A five-year-old girl in Oregon weighed just 29 pounds when she was rushed to a Portland hospital last fall. Uh, her father allegedly fearing suffering 
from seizures or throwing a fit. But according to an arrest affidavit obtained by the Oregonian, doctors allegedly made a harrowing discovery while examining the child. Her ribs and spinal bones were visible and open sores surrounded her mouth. Her arms were filled with scrapes and cuts, her feet were swollen, and her ankles were so weak that doctors said she, she must have been tied up for an extended period. The Randall Children's Hospital official diagnosis for the girl. Official diagnosis, according to court records, was torture. An investigation into the poor girl's injuries were open. Detectives quickly determined the likely culprit behind this five-year-old, 29-pound girl suffering was allegedly, they used the word allegedly about a hundred times, allegedly her own father, 30-year-old Javon Marquez Ingram. He was arrested and now faces multiple charges of criminal mistreatment and assault. Uh, the girl uh, allegedly told detectives that her father regularly tied her to a door using dollar store zip ties and duct tape and put her into a dog collar that would shock her. He would then leave her in a bathroom or a shed restrained in a high chair. Assisting in the torture, police said, was 45-year-old Larissa Danielle Ducon, who is not related to the girl. The child said the duo would beat her with a belt when she would go to the bathroom and that Ingram would shove socks in her mouth whenever she was whiny, uh, a prosecutor wrote in an affidavit. Detectives said the girl had never attended kindergarten, never received medical care, and was only served blended food. Her body is filled with lasting and prominent scars which includes scars around her eyes from being blindfolded and on the sides of her mouth from being gagged. Making the girl's terror even more sickening, Ingram regularly recorded his acts. That allegedly included videos from Ingram's phone that showed the girl being forced to run laps around her home as punishment, her hands tied behind her back. Uh, during a search of Ingram's home, police found multiple zip ties, duct tape, and a shock collar next to a bed. Ingram initially chalked up his daughter's injuries to self Harm. Yes, but investigator said he later confessed, quote, I've done some horrible things in these pictures, he told police as he looked at photos of his daughter's injuries. I know what I did was fucked up. Ingram also allegedly admitted to some of the acts in writing, yes, I Javon Ingram did tie, bound, and zip tie and hold you in place to calm and have you in a controlled state, Ingram wrote be, before asking offers, so what am I being charged with? Torture? Yes. The girl moved in with Ingram when she was two years old after her mother lost custody to her father for methamphetamine addiction. Yes, 
The alleged abuse by Ingram and Dukin began in January 2019 and continued through November 2021. Uh, Ingram was indicted last week on 24 counts of first-degree criminal mistreatment, three counts of first-degree assault, nine counts of third-degree assault, and is being held without bail. He pleaded not guilty on Tuesday. Uh, an arrest warrant is now out for Dukan, who faces seven counts of first-degree criminal mistreatment, three counts of first-degree assault, and two counts of third-degree assault. Court documents say the girl now lives with her grandmother. Okay. Is there one limp dick lefty? Is there one limp dick lefty on this fucking planet thinking this fucker deserves a fair trial, that he deserves a public defender, uh, that he deserves to tell his side of the story? What the motherfucker deserves is, and I'm sure that bird man would say something like this, what the motherfucker deserves is what any noble savage would do with this motherfucker. It would, it would be too easy, you know, just to put a tomahawk in the back of his fucking head. You know, what they need to do is uh, they, they need to strip him naked. They need to zip tie his penis and testicles to a saguaro cactus. That is the first thing they need to do, is zip tie his dick and balls to a saguaro cactus. Then they could probably ram, you know, some desiccated Joshua tree up his fucking ass. Uh, maybe gouge out his eyes. Uh, you know, gouging out his eyes, uh, I, I, I don't know. There's plenty of things they could gouge out this motherfucker's eyes with. I'm thinking of, like, uh, it would be nice to run little, uh, splitters up underneath all of his, uh, all of his, uh, fingernails and toenails. That would be something they could do. And then uh, I think uh, they should just leave him out there, you know, uh, nailed to a saguaro cactus, uh, either in the hot sun or the cold night. Uh, I don't know, maybe throw a little bit of acid in his face and, and leave him out there to die a slow, uh, anguished, painful death. That's just me. And, uh, and I'm guessing there's a lot of noble savages who would agree with me. And I'm guessing there's a lot of little fucking limp dick lefties who would disagree with me. But we don't know about his childhood. We don't know, did Javon, did Javon, was he zip-tied to, uh, to his bed by his father? I don't give a fuck about Javon's childhood. I don't give a fuck. The motherfucker needs to go. Uh, he needs to be off. He needs to be killed. Uh, he didn't kill the kid. It doesn't say uh, what his sentence is. Uh, the motherfucker, uh, you know, he's probably going to end up spending a bunch of years in prison, uh, you know, with the taxpayers, uh, hopefully that the other prisoners, uh, where he ends up will, uh, hear about his story and, uh, and, and, and some other scumbag, uh, fucking scumbag in prison. Uh, who ought to be, uh, who ought to been fucking sent to the electric chair, at least will do one good deed and, and take this, uh, take this fucking slime bag out. 
Uh, we need more capital punishment on this planet, not less. I've been saying it for years. Kill the motherfucker. Kill him. Kill him. Kill, uh, you know, that fucking bitch, uh, the mother of those, uh, of those, uh, Teenagers in Texas, the, the, those goddamn Turpins. Good God. Take them out. Slight, slit their fucking throats. Behead them. Bring out the fucking guillotine. You know? You think the fucking noble savages? Uh, would be talking the, 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 about rights for these motherfuckers? They, 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 what rights do these fucking scumbags have? We need to put fucking Geronimo. We need to put Crazy Horse uh, in, in, in the fucking Supreme Court. You know? Anyway. So don't ever let it be said that uh, I, I don't approve of noble savages. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Where's a noble savage when you need one, little dog? Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest. Uh, bye, guys.